First of all, thanks for being here and listening. I'm Sheriff John J O N Lopey L O P E Y, Sheriff of Siskiyou County. And first of all, I have concerns about some public safety and health and welfare issues that are going to be impacting Siskiyou County should these agreements uh, be implemented. Uh, I am uh, sworn to uphold the Constitution of the United States, and uh, I have some constitutional concerns, uh, especially the 10th and 14th Amendments, about this process. For example, the coordination. Uh, the, uh, the federal and state agencies involved in this process really haven't conducted coordination with public officials. And look at me, I'm the county sheriff. We have some board of supervisor members here, and we get three minutes, just like everybody else and to uh, address our concerns, which are significant. We have some of the highest crime rates in the state in Siskiyou County, primarily because of our poor economy. Any damage to our economy cannot be absorbed by this fragile economy. Right now, agriculture is our number one industry. I've laid off 27 deputies and correctional officers in recent years, and also just froze two deputy positions. This bright idea here has a potential destroying our way of life in the economy in Siskiyou County. And I can tell you that my citizens that I talk to all over the county are angry because their perception is that the federal and state government do not care about them, nor are they taking into account what they really think and what they really need. As you know, the National Environmental Protection Act specifically requires federal and state agencies before enacting policies like this to coordinate with local officials, government to government, and there's supposed to be a balance between the needs of the uh, to protect the environment and the needs of our people, and that means economic, traditional, and our ways of life. Also, I have some uh, real concerns about emergency planning. Where's the f uh, flood control? This sentiment, my friend uh, Gil Gilbert sent up in Klamath, uh, excuse me, Josephine County, has encountered a lot of problems with sentiment downriver. Uh, personal to that dam removal, and there's heavy metals and also chromium-6 in the water. We have, we'll have problems with fire uh, suppression. Obviously, agriculture is going to be short uh, changed as a result of this. Recreation is going to be adversely impacted. And I'm very concerned about this electricity issue. You know, how are you going to provide uh, electricity uh, to 77,000 uh, donors? Also, uh, the truth, I attended a meeting where uh, Secretary Salazar's representative advised us he had not made up his mind, yet uh, a couple weeks ago he goes to San Francisco and pretty much explains why dam removal is such a great idea. You've got to be truthful with the Siskiyou County people, and you've got to listen to the, uh, the uh, officials, and you've got to pay attention because you're not. And I'm not the only sheriff that's upset about these federal and state incursions into our counties. I have uh, every sheriff I know in the North States also concerned, and my friends in the South County of Oregon as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jim Cook, J I M C O O K. I'm the Siskiyou County Supervisor for District 1. The dams are in District 1. I'd like to point out that Tom Greeno from the Siskiyou County spoke on our behalf at your plan of meetings and that Ed Valenzuela, a Siskiyou County Supervisor, will be attending one of your Ocada meetings. I'd like to start my uh, verbal comments by pointing out that 80% of the voters in Siskiyou County oppose dam removal. I think one of the few things we can agree on is that the draft uh, EIR EIS is a large document. Uh, therefore, we are requesting the, an extension of time, which is allowable under both NEPA and CEQA, uh, to review and comment on this document. Uh, we, have, we will be submitting extensive written comments to the serious flaws in this document. Uh, we have already sent that letter to the Secretary, and I won't read it at this time. Related to the EIR EIS, the entire document was uh, established under a false premise. This is a document that only meaningfully compares dam removal to doing nothing. And that's contrary to the intent and the spirit of both NEPA and CEQA. There's no mean, meaningful discussion on the other alternatives. And that makes this document not legally viable. In addition to uh, preparation uh, of this EIRES, but in addition, the preparation of this document without coordination with county policies creates serious legal flaws 
and I'm going to read a letter that we've just sent in to the Secretary Salazar uh, for this record. Dear Secretary Salazar, as Secretary of the Interior, you stand in direct violation of federal law by failing to coordinate your dam destruction decision with Siskiyou County. We will not stand idly by and allow you to continue violating the law. He closes a copy of the Siskiyou County Coordination Statement filed in a public comment meeting regarding the destruction of the Klamath River dams. We trust that you will take the content seriously as we intend them seriously. Uh, you are uh, required to engage the county in coordination process that is mandated by the Federal Land Management Act and numerous other acts. You have violated each of these cited laws and orders. You or your designees have not in, uh, in initiated the process by scheduling a coordination meeting with the board. You should do that no later than November 8, 2011. We will seek enforcement and remedial uh, re and assistance from the Department of Justice, the Council of Environmental Quality, the Appropriations Committee, and the Subcommittee on Interior Affairs of the uh, United States House of Representatives and the appropriate United States Attorney. We are aware that in at least two prior Western cases that these, uh, this action has been held up. Mr. Cook, your time is up, and if you submit that, it will finish your testimony for the written record. Thank you. Thank you.